got Nor. Getting another project. Getting another project. In the middle of the rain. You guys see it's this? It's literally pouring. <laughs> what are we doing, bro? Oh my god. Let's get the check one. I don't know if this is smart, but we're gonna do it anyway. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. Alright guys, just got the truck and chili. We are heading out. I know we just bought an F30 in the last video. Um, <laughs> I might have a small addiction, but I mean, the boy's over, you know, job is finally over. Yeah, so we're gonna buy a car. We have to, bro, it's tradition. We get bored, we're playing some games or whatever. We're like, dude, we gotta do something productive, you know? So, uh, yeah, we're heading out. I saw this 335i guys manual. I mean, this is just one of those things, like I told you guys, we're trying to like elevate in life. So one of those like good flips. Um, we have an N54 at the house. Um, and especially if you get this one, it's a clean title N54 coupe manual with black interior. Why don't black? It's actually a yeah, pretty nice spec. Nice spec yeah. So Decent. yeah, so we're actually gonna be heading out of the bank right now. You know, 2,500 bucks, you really can't pass on that. Uh, so let's head down, get the cash, head over to him. Hopefully it's legit. Hopefully the title's all good to go. Nothing weird with that. And uh, we should be coming home with a 335 today, which I mean, I don't know. I don't want to promise anything with this car, but I'm excited for it. And I definitely think it's definitely gonna help us uh, get more funds and again for the business and the channel, just two wins. guys just got the money a lot lighter than the 328 f30 for sure but uh this is a 335 right here Guys, I'm Loki. very excited. A manual 335 for 2,500 bucks. And it needs an engine, but it's a clean title. White on black. It's just, oh, what a good deal. I really, fingers crossed, guys, I actually get this deal. I mean, guys, I can never get enough of buying cars. It's just like, it's one of the funnest things in life. And uh, I mean, especially when you get a good deal. I mean, when you buy an expensive car, you kind of rethink your entire life. But when you get a cheap car for a good deal, and there's always wiggle room to make more money off the car, even after enjoying it, it's the most satisfying feeling in the world. Alright guys, so I see it right over here. We got the money. Let me go ahead and just make this transaction and not be awkward with them. And then uh, hopefully if we can load this thing up, we'll show you guys this car as soon as we get back. Somewhat empty garage, but for a good reason. You guys saw that the 540i we ended up getting from my boy Erlan is finally ready to go. It runs and drives. He's been driving the last couple of days, been absolutely solid. So the next car we're actually bringing in here is gonna be the 335 that I picked up for a killer deal. And uh, the, the, the intentions of this, honestly, was to, you know, just, just get more money and try to work towards a bigger dream uh, by getting this car. Also, if you guys look right over there, I actually have an engine, an N54 engine, and this car needs an N54 engine. So that's actually the reason I picked up this 335. So long story short, we're gonna be pulling the 335i into this garage and uh, let me just say one, one other thing so it's kind of crazy that my boy Arlan got a 540 this week and then also my boy Jonathan was like bro I really like that 335 actually they were fighting over this 335 Arlan and Jonathan they really want this 335 so I decided you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it to my boy Jonathan for a really really, really good price way below market mainly because he's the homie he wants a 335 and who am I to say no to a brother so without further ado let's go ahead and bring that 335 in here and get that car fully swapped out for him so he has a perfect car to go home with low-key he's been driving the truck lately so uh yeah he he wants to get back into the bmw scene and there he is as you guys can see he's daily driving his toyota tacoma so yeah i think we need to bring him back to the bmw family uh, i 
I think you were here till late night. <laughs> Good morning, bro. Are you ready to get your 335 on the road, bro? Isn't that crazy to say? Crazy to say, bro. <laughs> I'm so excited. You actually, I want you to drive it before we actually start okay. taking it apart. Yeah, I want yeah, you to take yeah. it out of the box. It's in shirts. It's everything's gravy in the Navy. Right. Just don't crash it. You know what I'm saying? Don't like, crash it. Okay, bet. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so we finally got the car out of the backyard. Joth is to take it on his first little drive. All right, bro, be safe. All right. Have fun. Go go blow this one up. Go blow it up? <laughs> yeah, blow it up. Say less. <laughs> Too bad, huh? <laughs> it is sick. <laughs> oh man. Alright, back her up though, back her up. This engine is almost perfectly fine, but it's not. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Now, the reason I'm saying that this engine is no good is because as you guys can see, when you open up that oil filler cap, it looks like gunk, absolute gunk. I mean, the rest of the car is honestly in absolute mint condition. That's actually the reason why we actually ended up picking it up. Uh, but honestly, guys, this engine, it runs and drives. It kind of sucks. It needs to get pulled out. At the end of the day, we have an extra engine. We have a fully serviced engine. So we're going to go ahead and slap it into this beast. And Jonathan is going to be taking this car to the next level. So if you guys actually want to see what goes on with this build entirely make sure to check out my boy jonathan's channel but without further ado enjoy these small little touches we added in the meantime <laughs> <laughs> 